Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, keeping you updated as to what's going on with the forecast in the Mid-South throughout the rest of the weekend. We've got a fairly pesky storm system sitting down over the Gulf Coast states, and that's doing a very good job of moving moisture up and onshore to the Mid-South area and also back up over portions of Central Arkansas. This is where we're going to be seeing a lot of rainfall over the course of the rest of of the weekend. We'll be talking more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Either way, if you have travel plans, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll have updates on the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend, and we'll talk more about lightning safety coming up here in just a little bit. Flash flood watches have been issued for portions of northeastern Arkansas and back into the Missouri Boot Hill. That's going to be in effect until at least Monday at 7 o'clock. So if you have any plans for traveling, this does not affect the News Channel 3 viewing area, but it does affect areas close to it, so we want to make sure that you know more about this as you go someplace across the Mid South. So stay safe out there. Remember, turn around, don't drown, don't drive through water covered roadways. As of the time we record this, less of a chance of anything happening directly in the Mid South, but a lot of rainfall from central Arkansas back into and around portions of southeast Missouri, south Illinois, and extreme western Kentucky around the area close to the, the Mississippi and Ohio River confluence, and a lot more rainfall taking place down to our south. You can see some of that heavy rainfall into and around the area west of New Orleans over toward Lake Charles and down to just to the east of Houston and that is going to be causing a lot of problems for travelers uh, out across the area moving that moisture up this direction to form showers and thunderstorms. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll keep you updated on this. This is not a tropical storm nor is it a hurricane nor is it anywhere even close. The National Hurricane Center has not issued even an investigation order on this so we don't have anything to show you on that. High temperature yesterday Yesterday in the Mid-South, 92 degrees, almost as spot on normal as you can possibly get. Could always be worse though, Death Valley, California, once again the hot spot for the country, 116 degrees for several days running. And that again looking it's not exactly as bad as it could be. For today, our exclusive and tongue firmly in cheek cough temp decks looking at again an iced frothy coolness out there with all the heat and humidity. But once again, entirely I have anything in the way of preference regarding coffee. If you get a brain freeze or burn the roof of your mouth, that's your problem because you didn't pay attention. Ole Miss campus, cloud cover, rainfall, starting to see more people out and about early this morning, but otherwise not doing too bad. No major amounts of rainfall. Apparently some processing data time out there. Tim B's webcam on the weather underground system from Collierville showing some overcast skies not too much in the way of anything in the way of rainfall there Senatobia Mississippi Ranger 2015's webcam showing some construction work going on and a lot of cloud cover out and across parts of northern Mississippi no earthquakes to report directly in the mid-south area over the course of the last 24 hours so definitely good news there the earthquake energy from that one that hit in the South Pacific that moved through the mid-south if you'd like to see more information on that from Siri or USGS all you have to do is go to my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages for more on that. No burn bans in effect. Wildfire danger is low for Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee. No burn bans in effect for Arkansas and Mississippi. Tennessee does not issue burn bans. So unless it's in an extraordinary situation. So if you'd like to know more, contact the local forestry division for more details on that. UV forecast today will be at a three, a very low level, thanks to all the clouds and the rainfall out across parts of the Mid-South. Tomorrow might make its way up to a four, but that's going to be about it. So we're not looking at a lot of ultraviolet radiation for the Mid-South area. Good news there. Sunshine today, not a lot of sunshine, but daytime, again, shrinking. 13 hours, 31 minutes today, about 13 hours hours 29 minutes as we go into tomorrow. Not going to feature moon data because seeing the stars tonight is going to be ne next to impossible. For the Almanac, 80, the hot low temperature yesterday, a very high low temperature. 92, almost spot on for the high temperature for normal for this time of the year. 105, the record high set back in 2007 and a record low of 57 set back in 2004. Rainfall, nothing. Zip, zero, zilch. It's been a very dry month. We've gotten no rainfall officially for the month of of August, almost half the month, has seen no rainfall. We're still ahead for the year, but we've got an inch and a third deficit for the entire month. Rest of the day today, again, we'll be looking for chances of showers and thunderstorms popping up. 
best as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. It does not look like too much of a major concern where we get, again, anything the way of severe weather. That's still possible, but just not entirely likely. Main problem is going to be from wet roadways and chances of showers and thunderstorms wetting things down and causing slow driving conditions out there. Highs today back in the mid to upper 80s. Lows tonight as we go through News Channel 3 at 10 and heading toward daybreak tomorrow morning. We'll be back into the lower to mid 70s only. And once again, we're going to be looking at the potential of the heaviest rainfall making its way into around portions of eastern Arkansas and back up into around southern Missouri. So that's going to be the main concern of getting some chances of rain out there. The heaviest activity just west of the area. Rest of your forecast for today, showers and thunderstorms isolated this morning, growing toward a 60% coverage chance by afternoon and evening. Heading into Sunday, temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s and looking at mid to upper 80s as we head into Monday or so. And the same forecast recipe, recipe applies all the way throughout the course of the next several days so not much change is going to be taking place and that goes right on into next weekend as well so outdoor activities football soccer games marching band practice corporate retreats whatever you've got going on it is going to be looking at chances of showers and thunderstorms uh, out across much of the area so not much help or it comes to anything involving rainfall going away anytime soon so good news on that rest of the day today again chances of lightning out across the mid-south this is important if you have a thunderstorm over memphis you can still get struck if you're in collierville if you're in senatobia if you're in west memphis arkansas if you're in millington or atoka or over toward around even close between forest city close to crowley's ridge you can still get struck by lightning lightning can go several miles away Away from the parent thunderstorm and can strike very far away. It's called a bolt from the blue to where those lightning strikes can go a certain distance. So if you can see lightning and if you can hear thunder, that right there is something that you really need to consider at a positive mid-south. Looking again, the possibility of getting struck by lightning is real. It can happen, so you need to observe what's called the 30-30 rule. You need to be able to let the storm move for about 30 minutes, drifting away, collapsing, getting somewhere else. Again, that will take it out of range. But you have to also keep track of things like radar to make certain that you know where the storm is. Is, and if it's not moving, you're still not out of danger. So the 30-30 rule, 30 minutes for the storm to move 30 miles away for distance and safety, that's going to be one of the best things that you can possibly do. Also remember if you see somebody who's been struck by lightning like we talked about on News Channel 3 Daybreak this morning, it's not the same thing as gripping a live wire. The lightning electricity dissipates very quickly and you can touch someone to make certain that they have a pulse if you need to check them to call 911. It's something to take a look at. If you don't know CPR, now would be a good time to learn it. And again, if they're in contact with a wire, that's something different. Don't touch them. Find a way to get the power turned off. Call 911. Uh, use something that does not conduct electricity, like a dry piece of wood, a dry piece of plastic. Get the wire off of them. But lightning electricity dissipates very, very quickly. So nothing to worry about at that point, And you can administer aid. Stay tuned for weather coming up on the radio. It's Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. We'll keep our eyes on this system throughout the rest of the weekend. And also keep it tuned for more information about possible severe weather. Doesn't look too likely, but something to pay attention to. More importantly, keeping an eye on the potential for flash flooding in the Mid-South, which is exactly what we'll do for the rest of the weekend with yours truly and the rest of the News Channel 3 staff. Questions, concerns, ideas about what we can feature on here, Austin Onik at WREG.com. Thanks for joining me with News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime for Saturday morning. Another one coming up later on tonight.